a matter of dragging and dropping audio clips into yeah, this program. That's it. Scam loved ones or colleagues who think they're talking to you. Hello. Are you crazy busy. I forgot my corporate card. This is 100% a video playing on a loop. It is not real. We're seeing CEOs being attacked. We're seeing organizations being attacked. An employee sent $25 million to a fraudster thinking senior officers from the company had instructed her to make the transfer. Imagine getting a phone call from your CEO. The voice is identical. The tone is perfect. They say there's a sudden opportunity. Move funds now. We'll talk later. So you don't think twice and you transfer the money. But it turns out your CEO never called you. That's what AI is making possible now. And it's not science fiction. It's not five years away. This is happening to businesses today and it's only going to get worse. So in this video, let's break down how AI scams are evolving, how they're targeting businesses, and most importantly, what they can actually do about it. This isn't fear mongering. This is your early warning system. And look, I know what some of you are already thinking. Here we go again, some nerd telling me something I don't care to know, another guy trying to scare us into buying something, blah, blah, but that's not what this is. I'm not selling panic. I'm not pitching some doomsday bunker or one weird trick to protect your data. I'm showing you what's already happening in real time to businesses because ignoring it doesn't make it go away. And let's be real. If your business got hit with a scam like this and no one told you it was even possible, you'd be pretty pissed off. You'd wish someone had at least warned you about it. So think of this as your early warning system the fire alarm before the smoke, the flashing sign on the road that says bridge out ahead. You could ignore it if you want, but at least you were told about it. So let's go back a second. Scams have always been part of the game. Wire transfer frauds, fake invoices, the classic, I'm a prince with 40 million in a bank account. These worked because they preyed on emotion, fear, urgency, trust. But now the scammers don't need to be clever. They just need the right tools. Let's say I wanted to impersonate someone. In the past, I'd have to forge a signature or write a sketchy email with bad grammar and hope you didn't notice. Now, I can take a 10 second clip of your voice and turn it into a full blown audio. I can make you say anything. And with AI video tools, I can make you appear to say it too. Tools like Eleven Labs, Synthesia, ChatGPT, they're incredible when used the right way, but in the wrong hands, they're terrifying. We're talking AI generated phone calls that sound exactly like your boss or someone that you know and trust. Emails written in your company's tone of voice. Deep fake videos of your coworkers used to manipulate or steal. And it's not just big corporations being hit. Businesses of all sizes are fair game especially because SMBs tend to have fewer resources and more trust baked into how teams operate. Attackers know you are busy. They know your processes aren't always airtight. That's what makes you their ideal target. Let me show you how this is playing out in real life. There was a case in the UK where an employee received a call from their CEO. The voice was eerily accurate, calm, direct, the CEO said they needed a wire transfer of about 240,000 urgently. So the employee complied. And why wouldn't they? The CEO asked for it. Except it wasn't the CEO. It was an AI generated deep fake. And once the funds were transferred, unfortunately, they were gone. Then there's the story of a deep fake Zoom meeting. This one's pretty scary. Hackers created a full video deep fake of a company's finance director and used it to join a virtual meeting. The face moved, the voice matched. No one suspected a thing. The scammers were granted access to sensitive files all because the person in the meeting looked and sounded right. And one of the most disturbing examples I've seen recently, a business received an invoice from what looked like a trusted vendor. The branding matched, the tone matched, even the follow-up email sounded familiar. But someone on the team noticed a slight difference in the email address. That invoice was fake and it had been written by AI. Luckily, the employee decided to call the vendor and just verify like, hey, is this you guys? Do we need to pay this? What's this for? And that's what stopped it and prompted them to be like, hey, this is fake. We probably shouldn't proceed. The line between what's real and what's fake, it's blurry now. That's the new battlefield. Now, you might be wondering, how do these scammers even find you? It's not random. They start by gathering data, public data, 
stuff that's already online. They'll scrape LinkedIn to figure out your company hierarchy, you, the people that you work with on a regular basis. They'll grab your voice from a podcast, a webinar, even a YouTube video. They'll pull your writing style from blog posts or newsletters. Even something as simple as a birthday shout out or CEO at lunch with the team post can give them context. That's all they need to build a convincing scam. This tactic is called social engineering. And with AI, it's now weaponized. So how to protect yourself? First, train like it's 2025, not 2015. The old school don't click links with bad grammar advice doesn't cut it anymore. Your team needs to know that voices can be faked, emails can be perfect and still be scams, and video, yeah, even that can be generated now. So make pause and verify a standard operating procedure, not a one-time training slide. Second, and I know this one can be annoying to some of you, use multi-factor authentication. I know it's not fun and it's, it gets a little annoying after a while, but it works and it's one of the most effective layers of defense you can put between your business and a disaster. Next up, have internal protocols or even code words. If someone's asking for a wire transfer, login reset, or access to something sensitive, you should have a simple system to double check if it's legit. Something like, hey, what's the name of our first client? Or which side of the office is the weird cactus on? It doesn't have to be complex, just unique to your team. Then there's what I call building a human firewall. Your team is your biggest vulnerability, but also your greatest defense. So give them the tools. Run fake phishing tests now and often. Host AI scam awareness training. Limit who has access to what. Not everyone needs keys to the vault. And finally, stay informed. Follow security blogs, sign up for a newsletter or two, keep watching content like this. Cyber threats evolve every month. You can't afford to be stuck in last year's playbook. And yeah, I, I've been in IT and cybersecurity for years. I've worked with companies of all sizes and I've seen how fast these attacks are escalating. One of the biggest issues, mindset. Too many business owners still believe we're too small to be targeted. Here's the truth, you're the perfect target. You move fast, you trust your team, and you don't always have a chief security officer triple checking things. We've had clients deal with fraud attempts that would have worked if not for the training or simple two-factor authentication or just someone saying something about this doesn't feel right. Those little things, they save you thousands. AI scams aren't just coming, they are already here. But the good news, you're not powerless. You can train smarter, you can verify before trusting, you can build systems that make it harder for scammers to slip through the cracks. So before you click that email, answer that call or approve that invoice, pause, take a deep breath and verify. Protect your team, protect your business, and most importantly, protect your assets. If you found this helpful, subscribe. We break down complex tech and security topics so you can stay informed, stay sharp, and stay ahead. Thanks for watching.